Hello, I'm Yvonne Bishop Weston, a nutritionist from Foods for Life, and I'm going to help you to get the most out of your diet. I'm going to talk to you about how to lose weight in two weeks. We all know that if we lose weight in two weeks, it's not going to be weight that stays off for very long. So really, we should be looking at something more long term. But it might well be that you do want to lose a little bit of weight because you've got an event coming up and you really want to look your best for that. And there are a few things that I'm going to talk to you about that could make a difference in two weeks. Going for, for instance, the whole grain carbohydrates instead of the white and refined sugary ones will help to cleanse your digestive system. And things like spelt pasta or buckwheat pasta instead of wheat pasta, things like um, whole grain brown rice instead of white quinoa or barley couscous instead of white couscous. All of these types of foods will, will support your digestive system so you're less likely to feel really bloated. Another wonderful source of fibre of course comes in our fruits and vegetables and go for a whole range of colours and different types of fruits and vegetables because they all contain different nutrients and the different nutrients will help you to cleanse your body, they'll help you to have clearer skin, better looking hair and also to, to, to look better so that you are going to feel better. Another really important thing when you're trying to lose a little bit of weight and look better in a couple of weeks is to consider one of the green supplements. There's, they look a bit scary, they look a little bit daunting, but they don't taste nearly as bad as they look. You can get the, the plain simple greens, which are going to give you the algae, and the spirulina, the corella, the wheatgrass, the barley grass. You can also get ones that contain probiotics, which are going to give you an additional support in relieving bloating in the digestive system. Um, or you can get ones without, which have extra things like um, turmeric and things to support weight loss. And then there's the things to avoid of course, so caffeine would be the first to go because caffeine can lead to fluid retention, it can also muck about with the way we store body fat so it's very rarely a good idea on a weight loss plan and instead of going for caffeine for those two weeks really just do try to inc increase your water intake, especially alkalised water because we all know we should filter our water because when we filter our water we're actually going to be removing all of the junk that we don't want to be in there but filtered water does lead the water to be acidic which isn't good when we're trying to cleanse and detox the body. So filter like this which can actually re-alkalize it, has mineral pods in there that re-alkalize your water are perfect. And go for water between meals rather than with meals because if we drink with meals it can dilute the hydrochloric acid in the stomach and when it does that we don't digest our food as well so we end up feeling really sluggish and bloated and like, and like we've eaten badly. And while we're talking about fluids, of course, the alcohol really should go for those two weeks, um, cutting out the wine and especially the beer, things that can really make you ferment things in your stomach and make you feel more bloated and uncomfortable. And the very best way to lose weight, because we all know that we are all completely different in our genetic makeup, in the way our bodies are made. So the very best way, if you've done all of this and you're, you, you think, well, you know, okay, I do that and I'm still not losing weight, is go and see a nutritionist and get tested. Because metabolic testing can really help you to work out, are the hormones that control your weight not working properly? Your adrenal glands, the ones that control the, the, ones that control the stress hormones, the thyroid gland, are you not producing energy properly at cellular level so you're not burning off your calories. All of that kind of thing can be incredibly helpful for long term long for long term weight loss and reaching your ideal weight. And not forgetting the exercise. 30 minutes exercise a day, something within your within your capabilities at the beginning. Fast walking 30 minutes a day, maybe an easy swim and then slowly building up but making sure that it is every day. Putting all of those things together, then you should have a really lovely two-week kickstart to the beginning of your diet, a nice cleanse, a very gentle detox, feeling better, looking better, and then follow that on with a plan for life where you can lose weight every week until you're just right. So that's my tips on how to lose weight in two weeks, but not only to lose weight in two weeks, to also lose weight until you've got to where you want to be.